Hey, what's up guys? Michael here with uh, Warp Drive M. In today's episode, I'm gonna show you how to remove the rear bumper on the BMW E39. And um, it's just my method. I, uh, in fact, I'm gonna show you how I uh, will remove the rear rear bumper because I want to remove the, I want to remove the rear bumper because I have some rust spots in here, and uh, I'm pretty sure that. The rust goes underneath as well, that's why I want to remove it and uh, clean all the rust and protect it for uh, the winter and uh, for the next time because it's, uh, it's coming the rainy season, it's uh, autumn and after that will come winter and uh, for sure I have to protect this rust. So in order to remove the uh, rear bumper I, uh, I'm gonna use some uh, Trim tools. Yeah. And the uh, first step is to pry this uh, trim. Normally, you have to be careful, but uh, this rear bumper is uh, scratch all over the, the place, and uh, I'm not going to be that careful. But uh, you have to be careful when you remove your rear bumper and you want to protect your paint. So that's about it. In my case, as you can see, I have a park distance controller. You just have to unplug the clips, electrical connection. Okay, let's put this aside. Uh, I've already off camera undo uh, three clips you can see one in here the second one was here and the third one let me try put the camera inside was right here yep and for that you need a tool like this let me try to find the clips, sorry for the mess, it's still a mess in my yard, but anyway, these clips were like here, yeah, you have to use your tool to pull out the middle plastic. And after that you can take the, this clip with your hand because I'm pretty sure that I have to remove this uh, mud protector because here underneath it should be a screw in here somewhere and uh, in order to remove the whole mud protection I have to lift the car and uh, take the wheel off. And the wheel is off. The jack stand is uh, the jack stand. Uh, the lifter, the jack is here. The jack stand is underneath the car. And uh, just for safety measurement, the wheel is underneath the car as well. And uh, now I will uh, remove all the bolts that holds the plastic the mud protection into his place so this one are like 10 millimeters okay 
Okay, that's one. The second one. Okay, it seems that we have, yep, another one here. Yeah, it seems that it's smaller. And other than that, oh yeah, here. Yep. I've uh, took the eight mil socket. Where the hell it's said? Yep. Hey, focus. Eight. And uh, yep, <laughs> you can see it's going, but uh, I cannot do this with one hand. And in here, we have like another two eight millimeters. Okay, I will do this and uh, I will film after. This bolt is out. This is, uh, it's bro it broke. This one is out as well. So, as you can see, from three, I've managed to break one. This one was out and this one as you can see is still here because it is broken but uh, it doesn't matter now and this one is hang hanging in here with a clip but I don't want to take this off because uh, I have to put it everything back anyway so now this mud protection plastic cover or what the hell is called should come off Ta-da! Let's put this aside. We have a draining pipe. Oh yeah, that's for the gas tank. This draining pipe is from here. And that's from the gas cap. Anyway, so the protection plastic is off and now we can see we have uh, two bolts in here. I've took the bolts off from there and as you can see the bumper is free. Let's see where it's hanging. The other one, the other side is uh, unbolted. And uh, on this side I broke two screws from here. Yep, but I will change this and I will put new ones on the other side as well. It's exactly like the other one, but as you can notice in here, we have another clip plastic clip in here so I will remove it as well and uh, this mud protection should come off and after that the whole bumper if we don't have any uh, hidden bolts this should come off
Tada! Okay. And now, come here closer, Kiki. In here we have another two bolts. It's like 10 millimeter socket. Let's see if it's true. And of course, it's not to rain. And let's see if the bumper comes off. Or not. So the bumper will, uh, doesn't want to come off because uh, it has a lot of clips under uh, underneath uh, and I tried to take the clips off but uh, I don't have the space it's not enough space to take the clips off and uh, Kiki come here and uh, I uh, as you can see this side is already free because come here Kiki because it's starting to rain freaking rain I have to took everything off and uh, I have to unbolt these three screws, two you can see in here, and the third one is here underneath the plastic, right there. Or, let me try to show you like this, yeah. These three ones, and the same freak, freaking method in here. As you can see, two we have in here and the third one underneath in there okay so I will uh, unbolt these three screws and normally the bumper should come uh, off and now the bumper should come off let's see <laughs> and uh, let me show you the clips that I uh, told you about as you can see in here I have a lot of clips that is underneath the car and I've tried to take uh, a few clips off I didn't manage to do that and I've cut a few clips and after that I noticed that the, the, the bumper it was uh, it was uh, screwed with these three screws as well so uh, just a short recap you have to take the trims off just uh, if you have a part rear sensor after uh, you don't have to you don't have to take the these screws off after that you have to take the uh, mud protection stuff off these, uh, these two bolts from each side and uh, this and these three bolts from each side as well from here and uh, from here and that's about it you can see the bumper is off and uh, now I'm going to start clean, uh, cleaning the rust and uh, I'm pretty happy because uh, the rust is not uh, that much here underneath, it's just like a few points. I think that's about it for today's episode. Until next time, see you later!